Logic's score editor shows us what our MIDI recording would look like notated on a staff. Logic does actually an amazing job in translating our MIDI performance into music notation. All we have to do is tell Logic what the shortest quantization value we intended to play is. Let me record a short vibraphone part with mixed note values so I can demonstrate how this works. To set the best quantization value in the score editor, we need to first analyze the note values we have recorded. First, we want to find out the shortest note value. In our recording, the shortest note value is a 16th note. Now the question is whether the other note values can all be divided by 2. If so, the quantization value 16 would be the best one. Unfortunately, we also have quarter note triplets and eighth note triplets present in our recording. This means we have to find a quantization value that can be divided by 3 and by 2. To make it easy for us, logic allows us to enter two quantization values. For example, 1612 would include 16th notes and eighth and quarter note triplets. When we look at the quantization value pop-up menu, we see the possible combinations of quantization values that are suited for performances with mixed note values. Logic's score editor has additional settings called interpretation and no overlap. Most of the time, you want those checked, meaning turned on, because they help to clean up the notation significantly. There's a very good reason why we have the option to turn them off. Here's an example for that. We are looking at a piano part where the top notes form a melody and the lower notes an accompaniment. If we have no overlaps checked, it looks like this. All notes are only a quarter note long. If a pianist were to play this, it would obviously sound very different from the original recording. But if we turn no overlaps off, we can actually see that the lower notes are long and the performer will recreate the music correctly. In this recording, the melody also has some shorter note values that would need to be either notated with a staccato marking or by placing a rest in between them and the following note. The latter can be achieved by turning interpretation off. Interpretation tries to minimize rests to make the music more readable. The downside is that short note values that you actually want to see may disappear. Quantizing the score view does not change the actual length and location of the MIDI events for good reason. But there is a great feature that lets you change the MIDI events to reflect the score view precisely. To do that, you go to the function menu, Quantization, where you can decide whether you want to quantize only the node position or also the length of each MIDI event in accordance to the score view. This is an amazingly useful feature if you want to hard quantize your music quickly. I love this feature. I use it a lot and I hope it will be useful for you too.